Sagittarius, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be another general reading. Oh, by the way, if it looks dark in here, it's, just, it's about to rain, so it gets a little dark. I'm so sorry about that, but um, just deal with it. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so this is going to be another general reading for those of you who are new here. Um, to see who or what is coming towards you, please keep in mind that the messages can be interchangeable or vice versa, okay? It's going to be something happening now and if in the near future or the future, so that means that the readings are uh, timely. So take what resonates with the rest. It is a general reading, all right, my love? All right, so this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, please tap me in to the higher selves of Sagittarius for what is coming towards Sagittarius in love. One more shuffle. All right, what, 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 what? <laughs> Y'all know that notorious be had you so Sagittarius. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, angels, who or what is coming towards Sagittarius in love, please? Show me what I need to see for Sag. Who or what's coming towards Sagittarius in love? Who or what? Ooh. Attach. <laughs> you guys always have someone attached to you. That's a fact. Who is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Ooh. Obstacle ahead. Pay attention to the details. I hope this ain't an, an attached motherfucker that's coming towards you. Maybe they're a fucking already attached somewhere else. Who are what's coming towards Sagittarius? In love, please. Regret. Ooh. Okay. All right. Let's see. See what all that shit is about. We going with a Libra. <clears throat> Scorpio, Taurus. <laughs> Ooh, I'm already seeing somebody. Somebody might. Somebody might be a sneaky mother, mother, motherfucker. Somebody is a sneaky motherfucker. guys here we go who are what's coming towards Sagittarius in love please oh these they just coming out for you guys <laughs> sad I'm telling you it's funny as fuck like the cards and spirits just like here here it is here it is here's a thesis all right so yeah you could definitely be dealing with an air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini any of these signs that I'm naming could be in your moon rising your Venus Sag who, who the hell are you guys did you guys um give the sword to who did you guys cut the fuck off? Oh my God, Sag. Oh man, poor little Tink Tank. Whoever that motherfucker is, you you just say off with their head, like literally, off with that motherfucker head. For some of you, it's like you found out some information about this person. This is someone that you found out that it's a motherfucker love triangle. Ah, oh, Sag. <laughs> This motherfucker, if it's not you, this motherfucker has you in a third-party situation. This is something that you have found out. You know, the Ace of Swords are definitely about breakthroughs, information coming in. And you know what? That truth, that sword is very sharp. So, it's a harsh truth that some of you don't learn about this motherfucker. You found out that this person is playing the field. This is a player from the him of motherfucking layers. But Sag is like, I'm not, I'm not having that shit. You got, you got me fucked up. I see that clearly, Sag. You know, things just stop moving, right? For some of you, Sag, I feel like um, this is someone that you were actually in a relationship with, right? Or maybe even married to, and you found out that they were cheating on you, or that they're doing, you know, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is like either non-committal or there's like some adultery going on, okay? Maybe you found out that this motherfucker got a whole wife and children or a whole husband and children. Okay? Maybe you found out the motherfucker lived with that motherfucker. All right? So, hey. <laughs> Sad said, uh, 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 uh. Not so fast. Not so fast. Could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Who or what's coming towards Sagittarius in love? 
Why is the Queen of Swords here? <laughs> Can't wait to see what that's about. Bottom of the deck. This is a motherfucker that's keeping secrets. Oh, man. This person is involved. Wow. This motherfucker's already involved. And as soon as you found out, Sag, you literally gave this motherfucker the boot. <laughs> like, I could tell. It was like, real quick. You just, up. Oh, we done. And for some of you, if this is someone that you want a relationship with, you cut that motherfucker off extremely quick. And you're like, I'm single again. Back on the prowl. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that song. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. You know, I don't like um, the whole... I'm not even trying to throw shade on readers, but I'm very blunt. But it's like some readers, they just sound so robotic and it just makes it boring and depressing. And it's like, it's refreshing to actually be with a reader, right? That is energetic. And it just makes bad news seem not so bad, right? That's what it feels like. It's really good. You don't want someone who's just sound all depressing and shit, make you mad and shit. <laughs> yeah, so Sag, this could have been Aquarius. Some of you, you got a divorce from this motherfucker. You divorced them. But that's who's coming towards you. For some of you, you don't even know the situation is going on. But if you've been noticing this person acting a little strange, that's what it is. They have a whole family or they're cheating or they're doing something crazy. Why is the Ace of Swords here? You're finding out some shit about this person or you already know. Ooh, so you found out this and you released this motherfucker? You released them, Sag. Yeah, see... It got to the point where you're like, you know what? You're not my happily ever after. Yeah. You cut that shit off real quick. You were just like, um, yeah, no. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. Block that motherfucker and all. No thanks. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I'm starting off something new and I'm jumping away from your ass. I'm good. <laughs> you guys replaced that motherfucker quick. Like, I could just feel it. Like, you replaced them quick. This motherfucker could have even thought they were irreplaceable. Please. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands. Don't you ever call a second So, this is someone, I mean, even if they're not in a third party situation, right? This is just someone who's a waste of time. I mean,. This is someone who's still, you know, out there looking at their options. This is someone playing the field, leading you astray, leading you on. Could be a Leo. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords, please. So before, maybe you were blinded to what this person was doing. But now you see this motherfucker clearly. You're seeing them as the asshole that they are. I swear. That's what I'm feeling here. You're seeing it clearly. For some of you, this person could feel like they're trapped in another relationship that you know about. Or whoever the hell they left you for that they're with now makes them feel trapped. That's <laughs> what you get. Serves you right. Let's clarify the three of cups in the reverse, please. Oh, shit. Okay. Serves you right. Two of Pentacles is a motherfucker that was juggling. I'm telling you. You know, maybe even only just offering you the physical and you're like, why can't this go further than that? I'll tell you why I can't go further than that. You motherfucker was already motherfucking involved. That's why. And it looks like this is someone who's regretting their decision. For some of you, this person left you to go be with someone else is what I'm hearing. And they regret that shit. They're like, oh man, it was way better where Sash was at. <laughs> ah. Now that, uh, you know what I just heard? For some of you, this motherfucker got kicked out. Is what I'm hearing? They got kicked out? I don't know for some of you if that resonates. This is someone who got kicked the fuck out. Either from you kicking them out or this is someone that got kicked out by their spouse. And they're in a the doghouse. Because they're a fucking dog. All right. Tell me more, spirit. One more. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more. Some of you, this is just someone who's non-committal. And maybe you wanted to know where you stand with this person. And it's like, we don't stand no motherfucking way, right? Hey, man, yeah. See, this is some, this is, a, it's an unbalanced situation because someone's lying. Someone's leading the other person on. 
And you really did that, motherfucker. You really did. That's what I'm saying. I don't even really feel like this is something that really needs to be extended because um, this is a motherfucker I feel like you're really not going to bother with. <laughs> you're not going to bother with their ass. You're not. But they're coming towards you. But, I mean, once they come towards you, this is all they're going to get. <clears throat> it's not going to be nice, Saggy. No more nice, Saggy. <laughs> no more nice, Saggy. So, thank you so much, Sagittarius, for tuning in. I love you all very much, and I will see you guys next week.